Okay, so to get started, um, instead of using the web um, client, as I mentioned, uh, we're going to hook that up to the web client very soon. But um, right now, I'm showing you how this is done behind the scenes. Um, right here, I have my devices, but if I, ha I have a special device zero, which stands for it's for federation, meaning that if I issue commands to this device zero, everything will be propagated to all my connected devices, no matter what. So give me an example here. So let's say I want to play a sound. So play sound, meaning just I want to play sound, and I pick a sound. Which will happen? So you saw that um, it's all played the same sound. Issue one at simultaneously, well, almost simultaneously. So I can use the same thing. So I wanted to tell it to start up now. I remember before I showed you how it's done, but I want all these devices to start. Let's have to start. Uh, it's beginning of the night session. So I wanted to tell it to get to a known state and a known position. So I'm going to tell it to, to start up. Here we go. You notice the result that it, um, for each of them, it tell me what's going on. So I have three device set up, so it tells me that it's probably all three sequences starting now. I can also get the states of all three. Again, I'm just issued to device zero. So for each, every one of them, for this is device one, here's all the states. All the states. This is device two. And similarly, device three. Okay. I can also tell it to all focus, just like before. So, but instead, of, I want to all focus once. Let's do that. Ready? Let's do. Auto focusing. Auto focusing. Auto focusing. You know, auto focusing. Of course, it will fail because it's it's during daytime, so there's no stars to to resolve. I tried twice. All right. So I can tell it to uh, change the filter. Let's say I want to use the L evolution filter. There we go. All got clicked. I can also tell it it's a new new one. Now I can find all the state machines inside. What's how how everything's going by just issuing one command here. So that tells me uh, how's the filter wheels moving. Is it continuous uh, exposing? How's the view going? Is it going? All kind of stuff. Okay, but now the cool things. Um, remember, I show you how to create a schedule. I can do the same thing now, but now I'm doing in a federation. It's almost the same. So I want to create a schedule. So just create a schedule here. And let's say I want to add an autofocus routine. Okay. And let's say I want to uh, also change filter. All right. So you can see this is the, the schedule that I built up so far. All focus and set the uh, filter wheel. I can also tell it to wait time and stuff like before. But now the fun part is that let's say I want to do a, a mosaic, but the mosaic on a parameter I kind of before. But one thing that's new in here is that if I have a mode, uh, the array mode is called split. In this case, it's a uh, This is a, uh, let's see, it's a two by two mosaic, for example. I have three devices, so I want to split them among three. So I want to able to evenly split them so I can get um, all three uh, uh, doing, focusing on a specific part that's split. Now, if I don't have this, 
if I don't have this array mode to split or any other mode other than split, it'll duplicate, meaning that it'll do this exact same thing. So now you're gonna, um, in this case, I'm gonna uh, triple my, my, my aperture to collect more, more photons. So if I do this, I wanna add my schedule to it. So you notice that now I have, I tell it to all focus, set the wheel and then start mosaic. And if I tell it to see what my schedule is like, it's like this. Yeah, it's it stop, it's waiting for me to tell it start, but that's what's going on here. All right. Now if I tell it to, to, um, to start schedule, what's going to do now, because it's splitting, it's going to split those four panels into three devices. Again, so there we go so it's starting now now cool thing here is that um, you noticed the first um, C star um, it's assigned two panels one one and two two the second one is assigned panel two one and the third one's sign a sign panel one two. So that means that it will do all four in most efficient way possible. Now the other cool thing, the other cool thing is that if my original mosaic actually has selected panels in there, let's say I'm only doing subset of three of these uh, panels, it will actually split only these three into into these three uh, C stars. So it will do the most efficient way of Processing what I'm asking you to do. Okay. So now that means that now with just one one web page, I can control thousands of these C stars to control a whole array to do whatever I want, all on in synchronous um, passion. Pretty cool. All right. That's um, so. That's pretty much what I want to show, and. We're going to, so these uh, federation uh, features going to be integrated pretty soon. Um, right now, the the current version that you can you can get from our GitHub, in version two point zero point zero, it's everything but this federation. Um, go to our GitHub to grab the latest, and if you go to Discord, you can ask hope our our developers questions and how to get started. All right, um, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you.